Welcome to this uh, short introduction to how to navigate in the APR online study course. Uh, this is the course map that you see before you right now. Let me point out some things at the very top of the page. You'll see that uh, there are points that are, are uh, awarded when you complete activities. And so you'll see your progress and you'll see the points that you have received for each activity at the top of the screen. In addition, if you mouse over your name at the top of the screen, you'll also see links to other courses. If you're taking other courses on this learning management system, your certifications, you'll also be, see, be able to see specific uh, responses for each of the activities that you've taken in the progress. If you belong to groups, you'll be able to see those groups there and also be able to see your files. We are not using my branches. Let's take a look at the profile, which is my information. If you go to this page, you'll see that you can see the courses that you're enrolled in, the groups that you're enrolled in as well. You'll be able to change your name or your information, your email address, and also your logon and your password. Um, you are given a default password when you enroll in the course, and we encourage you to change the password if you'd like to make sure that your site is secure, that your account is secure. Also, the bio, you can uh, put a little information in here. We do have an introduction activity, so you may want to save um, your bio for that, that area because this is not accessible to other participants, and we want to share your information in the introduction. You'll also be able to change your time zone um, so feel free to change your time zone to your correct time zone there. And also you can uh, include a photograph. So when you click on uh, the photograph icon here, you can select a photograph and you can insert it. Um, you may also be able to crop your photograph. So if you want to change the way the photograph looks in the uh, in the avatar, which also is shown on all of your postings within the activities. And you'll also be able to use a URL for your photograph. When you click update user, it will ask you to submit your password. So let's talk just a little bit about navigating through the course. Obviously, you have a button here that says go to course that will t uh, pick you up right where you left off. So anytime you come back to the course and you're, you see the course map, which is a listing of all of the course modules, you'll be able to click on this button over here and it will take you directly to wherever you left off in the course. You'll also see if you look on the course map, you'll also see that there are check marks on the items that you have completed. You can randomly access any of the module materials, um, but the in materials that have been completed will have a check mark. So let's take a look, uh, let's go ahead and navigate through some of the materials. This is the web meeting schedule and it's for the summer. You'll see on the web meeting schedule a countdown to the next, um, the next session. You'll be able, when the countdown is a few minutes before the session, you'll be able to click on this link and take you directly to the web meeting. We have another video to help you understand how to participate in the web meetings. You'll also see the schedule below, and you'll also see a link to test your computer and also a telephone number if you have technical difficulties. We use an active learning approach in the online course, so we encourage you to volunteer to join the panel, even if you just have questions and would like to have the APR facilitators help you with those questions. We encourage you to volunteer. We will ask you to read uh, uh, sample questions or we'll ask you to share notes or one of the activities within the course as well. So you see the schedule here, and you're also able to volunteer for any of those particular sessions uh, that way. Let's take a look at Module 1. Each module starts with a, an introduction. Next element of the modules is the readings, and the readings are designed to be done before you do the activities in the module. So we would recommend that you download the task sheet. You may print that if you'd like, it's one sheet. And then you can look at the study guide reading materials. 
You'll also find other handouts and also references to the short bookshelf of recommended texts. To continue to the next section of the module, you can click the button at the bottom of the page, or you can use the arrows at the top of the page. The next element in each of the modules is the scenario question formation activity. After reading the materials for this particular module, we encourage you to, th to think about a question that may be on the APR examination based on your reading and your review of the module materials. In this activity, we also encourage you to review the APR examination question handout each time you complete this activity to help strengthen your understanding of the questions and how they're formed for the APR examination. When you go to the activity to post your scenario question, you'll see uh, questions that were posted by others, and all you need to do is to click the reply button and add your question. If you would like, you can uh, also respond to others who have written a question by clicking the comment button when hovering over their question. We want to encourage you to consider adding constructive criticism to others who are posting questions to help them understand whether or not their question conforms to the characteristics of questions on the APR examination. After you've posted your question, you can return to the course by clicking Return to APR Prep. In Module 1, you'll also have the opportunity to create your introduction. And the introduction is an opportunity to introduce yourself, share just a little bit about your professional background, and provide contact information or a way to, for others to connect with you. We also encourage you to return to your introduction to post your target date for when you plan to take the APR examination. So here's an example of an introduction, and you can essentially, you can review other people's introductions. You can include photographs. You can also include uh, links. Post your own introduction, scroll down to find the reply area, and then type your response or compose your response in a word processing program and paste it into the text window. It's a little tricky to post a photograph in a discussion, but let's show you how. Type your name or simply a word and then highlight that word and then you'll see a menu. You can either bold the word, you can italicize it, you can underline it, you can create a link to that particular word, or you can create a picture. So let's create a a photo, a picture, and you'll notice that it's asking for a URL. So you, what you can do is find the URL for a photograph of you that's already on the internet, and then you can paste that URL into that location, and that will put your photograph in the activity. If you would like to provide a link to your LinkedIn profile, you can go to LinkedIn and find your profile URL or copy the profile URL and then type LinkedIn profile or whatever you'd like to type for the words for your introduction to that profile and then click on the hyperlink and, and paste the link in, in, the, uh, in the window. And then you'll see that that is a link. You can also, if you'd like to, you can make it bold so people are aware that you have a link that goes to your LinkedIn page. And then click Reply. To return to the course, you can either go to the top of the page and go to your home, or you can also use the link Return to APR Prep. Let's also take a look at submitting a, an activity 
which is a file or a text document. This particular activity is the MBA class presentation scenario, and it's your opportunity to imagine that you are a public relations professional who's been asked to speak to a, an MBA class um, and to help them understand how public relations works with the C-suite, with the leadership in any organization. And we ask you to create some slides, although you may be able to just simply create an outline and post the outline. You'll be able to upload a file or share a URL or simply type an outline. And in this particular activity, you submit the activity below. And we also show you a, an example of um, a Google slide that has been embedded in that particular activity. And what you can do right here is either embed the slides for your activity, or you can share a URL to the presentation, or you can upload a file. Let's first show you how to upload a file. So click below where it says upload a file, and then click on the upload file, the PowerPoint, or you could select a PDF to include in your presentation. At any time, you can check your progress by mousing over your name in the top right and go to My Progress. There's a lot of information on this particular page. It has a dashboard for all of your progress. You can see how many times you've logged in. You can see how many, well, what kind of material you've submitted uh, for any period of time. You can also ex ex export all of your records uh, using the Excel format export button. If there are badges in, for particular activities, you'll be able to see those, also your certifications, your assignments, surveys, and courses and tests. Well, that's it for this short introduction on how to navigate the APR online study course. The APR online study course is a comprehensive course that covers all of the KSAs that are required to pass the APR examination. Module 1 has Public Relations and Management Function. Module 2, Applying Ethics and Law. Module 3, Communication Models and Theories. Module 4, Situation Analysis and Research. Module 5, Problem and Goal and Objective. Module 6, Strategies, Tactics, and Evaluation. Module 7, Managing Issues and Crisis Communication. Module 8, Leading the Public Relations Function. And Module 9, Managing Relationships. And Module 10, Readiness Review Practice. And then your course completion. We recommend that you complete all of these activities before applying for the APR examination. We find that the most successful approach to passing the APR examination is to study first and then apply and pass the APR examination.